reached, but that may not be the end of this case. State on your side, senior investigative reporter Walt Buteau joins us live in studio with the latest on this Stand Your Ground case. Josh and Jen, it was a fist fight on the weekend after Thanksgiving six years ago that witnesses say seemed to be over, but one of the men came back with a gun in what is the key point of this dispute in this tragedy. This 2015 Tampa shooting was expected to get its first day in court and also test Stand Your Ground. You can't even say, are you okay? The sister of decorated Navy SEAL Tim Martin told us today she cannot comment on the settlement, but she spoke out three weeks ago saying she wanted to give her brother a voice. When the doctor comes in later that night and pronounces him dead, it's just like... There's nothing more devastating. Former Hillsborough County State Attorney Mark Ober decided the shooting was self-defense, citing threatening text messages Martin sent about Jeffrey Glenn, who fired the fatal shot. Current State Attorney Andrew Warren blamed the law itself in deciding against criminal charges, calling Florida Stand Your Ground misguided. You're not in imminent harm. Stetson Law Professor Judith Scully questioned the use of Stand Your Ground in this shooting since investigators said Glenn left a fist fight and returned with a gun. You are the person who is uh, being aggressive in that situation and potentially causing greater harm. But she adds that is her opinion of what is reasonable fear without hearing the defense argument. She also tells us compared to most states, Florida Stand Your Ground allows a wider variety of self-defense scenarios. So one way to help prosecutors decide what is homicide and what is self-defense is to narrow the number of cases that fall under that umbrella. Still in play, a letter to Governor Ron DeSantis from veterans advocate Travis Horn asking for a new prosecutor to present the case to a jury. Let them decide whether it's met the burden, because that's the duty of the 12 people we put in a jury box. Horn also decided not to comment on the settlement, and as it is in most settlements and civil cases, neither the plaintiffs nor the defendants are commenting right now. Martin's sister had told us earlier this month that any money from the case would go to her brother's 10-year-old son, whose testimony was expected at the trial. Hmm. And, you know, we talk a lot about stand your ground law here in Florida, but there are actually a lot of states that have at least some version of it. Yeah, 32 states in all, and uh, the stand your ground statutes are in 32 states. But according to Scully, in many states there are restrictions about where it will apply. In most states, it's continued or confined, that is, to your home and yard. A few include your vehicle or place of employment. Florida's law is much broader, in this case, applied to a restaurant parking lot. So. Hmm. It'll Very be interesting, interesting. Yep. to see how it turns out. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Thank Walt. You. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, you can call our 8 on your side helpline at 1 800 338 